Catherine was designed to determine if TDM1 could help a group of patients with an unmet net medical need, mainly, primarily a group of women who we knew had higher risk for recurrence that we didn't have an effective therapy for. Catherine shows us now that we, TDM1 is a very effective drug for reducing that risk substantially by 50%. The study was a global trial that recruited women who had completed a standard neoadjuvant chemotherapy regimen, had surgery, but had residual invasive cancer in their breast or axillary nodes. Those women routinely, up till now, would re finish out their year of HER2 target therapy, generally with trastuzumab. This study randomized women to either do that, re receive standard therapy, or start TDM1 for that period of time. The primary endpoint was a composite endpoint we use of inda invasive disease-free survival. What we saw in the interim analysis, when we had 256 women who had had developed distant recurrence, recurrent cancer in their breast, lymph nodes, or died. These are the, the multiple endpoints that go together to this. We saw that that 50% that reduction in risk for one of those events in the women getting TDM1 relative to those getting standard trastuzumab. And Catherine has established that TDM1 should be given very serious consideration to women identify it as being at high risk because of persistent disease. And I think it's going to transform the way we manage HER2 her positive early breast cancer in that neoadjuvant therapy really will become a standard in large part to help find this subset of women who can benefit from TDM1.